introductory part about the innovation and entrepreneurship. So we're gonna touch on startups because usually most of the student-based entrepreneurs we see in the country today, they're commonly called as startups and we'll understand more about this you know, So as we go along. All right, so basically I am from the, again, I mentioned this before, Technology Transfer and Licensing Office of the university and uh, most of our discussions about um, making technologies uh, commercialized no, into the market. And if there are researchers who are interested to pursue technology commercialization, so it is our job to facilitate no, the commercialization. So basically, our most of our faculty members are engaged in research and development. So you, you have these several faculty members who are very passionate about doing R&D to make an impact to the community or to the world no, by introducing innovations or introducing inventions. And then if they are interested to make money or commercialize that or to make these technologies available to the communities on the market. So um, what, the, what we do is facilitate this turnover, no, to facilitate this technology to make them available in the market. Okay, so before that, uh, Siguro allow me to um demystify you know the the um these terms that we use we will be using for the rest of the semester like for example in innovation and technopreneurship so um this will cover our uh, early discussion this morning okay um if you have questions feel free to interrupt me now so um, I, I allow uh, students to engage in the discussion if you have something to say. Uh, so feel free to comment them all here in the chat box or open your mic if you want to speak. Um, I entertain questions. I'm free to any disruptions that you would want to make. You know, so that's all okay with me. Any side comments, that's okay with me. You can chat them all. You know, so it's uh, absolutely fine for me if you want to say something about, hey, I know what innovation is, so feel free to like make comments. So uh, I know you guys, you are still at also at home. Maybe you're doing the same tasks or tasks at home uh, at the same time. Uh, but I do hope you're still listening. No, even mag tawagan, <laughs> mag prepare of linong ag. All right, so let's proceed. No innovation entrepreneurship. So uh, basically, it uh, landed to me because most of our activities in the office are engaged into innovation and uh, commercialization. And then uh, lately or recently, the last two three years, so we've been engaged in the technology business incubation program in the university. No, so uh, I and Dr. Roland De Gil, the dean of the CCIS, are uh, the project leaders, co-project leaders of the technology business incubator. Uh, let me share this experience because uh, some five years ago, I think in 2017 or 2016 in December, so there were two Decembers that we went to Hong Kong. And then what happened is that we were exposed to one of the major infrastructure of Hong Kong, which is known as the Hong Kong Cyberport. And when we went there in Hong Kong, we were exposed to this kind of um, facility that actually house a lot of students, you know, brilliant mind, brilliant students who are who were actually engaged in um, startups. And they're still very young. They're, they're like 18 years old. We got to interview them, 19 years old, and they're doing a lot of stuff already. Most, most of them are into the ICT. You know, so... Most of them are into computer programming, software. And then we, we saw a list of startups there. So we saw a list of student groups forming their own company. They're trying to engage in entrepreneurship. And uh, the good thing about them is that uh, they're founded by big businesses already. You know, like, for example, you've heard about Jack Ma, right? So Jack Ma, the um, founder of Alibaba, you know, so the biggest um, business to business um retail uh, company in china right 
So we went there and then there are a lot of students who were already funded because they have brilliant um, ideas and potential businesses now from, from what they're forming. And so we were kind of like encouraged about that and thought about why not um, make this available also in, in the Philippines. And during that time, there was so little information you can get. No? So like for example, at that time, we did not know that UP Diliman is running their own technology business incubator already. Now they're housing student-led startups already. And then um, the UP Las Banyas. So they're, they're, they're like a handful of um, um, TBIs no, by that time. And so what we thought of that, okay, for us to build a very good business uh, incubator that is in the university or the university-based incubator. So we thought about working with, with working with um, IPOFIL, uh, working with the DOST shared not to put up our own uh, technology business incubator. And basically that's um, Navigato. But all of this started when we tried to establish the Innovation and Technology Support Office. Now that was launched by IPOFIL and World Intellectual Property Organization. So basically these two offices or the ITSO and TTLO um, are responsible for the intellectual property creation, protection, and utilization. So I will discuss a bit more about this. We will have one chapter about intellectual property. And um, uh, because this is mainly my job in the university, um, we will gonna be sharing about more about this. In fact, this Saturday, if you will be free, um, you can join the webinar no, on the basics of IP. Kung wala may class, eh. Do you have class on Saturdays ba? Can I take a survey from you guys? Do you have class? Can you chat yes or no? Do you have classes on, on Saturdays? So that I, I'll just also be aware. Can you type in the chat box if you have classes on Saturdays? Yes. None, sir. Pero nami event afternoon. No, sir. Okay, no. No. Okay, no. Okay, no. So, all right. So, perhaps it's safe to assume that um, many of you doesn't have any class on Saturday, but um, thank you, Jason, for uh, mentioning this. Uh, pero naamoy event in the afternoon. All right. So, perhaps we will schedule that on another date and time. No, I will schedule in advance, hopefully two weeks before the for example, webinar, no, because um, we will might not be having classes there, but we will have the webinar instead for the basics of IP. Okay, thank you for responding. Okay, I think it's same to assume, no, na wala may class on Saturdays. So, Wilmar Ellington responded here. Marlo, Meryl, um, Matt, okay. So, there are six of you who confirmed na wala. No? The rest, is it safe to assume wala may class, eh? The rest of you guys who did not respond or nagluto na, naglungag na. <laughs> naglungag na? Okay. Oh, naglungag na. Okay. Sige. Um, Bantay-bantay ang linungag. <laughs> Pero uh, listen also, ha? No class, no class. Anak, judge. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. Sorry na ba? <laughs> Masaya ba? Uy, mag-quiz na ako mas klase. Masaya na huwag ka na mag-quiz ba? Mas klase da yun. Okay? So, <laughs> surprise, surprise, no? So, pamina lang. Pamina lang mo, ha? Ayaw yun yung kalimte. Yeah, klase na yung klase. Alright. So, let us first define innovation. No? Because um, you've heard a lot about this. And yet, people are like mixing this up with other terms or other words no? that may have the same meaning. For example, invention. No? So, this is a very, very used, um, overused word uh, these days. No? So a lot of the agencies, government agencies, you know, universities are using innovation um, quite extensively. And um, I think it's safe to say that we need to like somehow clarify the definitions for the innovation, the word innovation. So what uh, one definition here is says that uh, innovation is a novel product, service or process which is creative, advanced, and original. Now, so very, very compact uh, definition. So it should be novel. When you say novel, that simply means new. No, It's a new product. So there are three terms here. Product, service, process. So new product, service, 
process which is creative, advanced, and original. Perhaps you will always like to set as an example, no? I think uh, many of us are very familiar with Jollibee. And so I'm not here um, as a, I don't know, endorser of Jollibee, but uh, Jollibee over the years have really innovated a lot of their products. No? So when they started out, so if you happen to know the story of Jollibee, diba? they, they started as an ice cream parlor and then they went go on, okay, burger can be made available. So throughout several decades for a long time now, Jollibee has been innovating in terms of producing products. And so uh, novel products, like girls, um, mix it up with uh, like the halo halo that they have, although they did not uh, created that. But uh, they have innovated products like the peach mango pie. No? So, so they've created a lot of things that you might not see it before. No? So although chicken is existing for a long time, but the novelty there, if you notice the novelty there, the taste of Jollibee is entirely different from what you are cooking there right now. If nagluto mo chicken, so your taste is significantly different. Those I should say. So because we've tried that, the chicken that you're cooking is entirely different in taste and. Perhaps you're trying to mimic or imitate the taste of Jollibee, but actually it's difficult to like make it uh, the same taste no, with uh, Jollibee. Tama ba? Tama ba? Nagsulay ba mo? Nagsulay ba mo gluto ang Jollibee and then the problem is that you're not able to recreate it because they have this technique. No? They have this trademark. No? So those things... Even if they are into food, no, so there that is an innovation. Um, Jollibee is into the uh, what's a fast food, no fast food. So before, um, ang, the way of eating in dining in restaurants, so it's really like you have to sit down, order the food, and then wait for the food to come. So, but then, then the innovation that took place uh, several years ago is that they made this. Um, McDonald's, if you follow the story of McDonald's, they made this um, provision of food as fast as they can. No? So that is fast food. No? So they have automated the process no? in terms of um, making food or Jollibee fast. No? Fast. So definitely fast. And you can have your order in less than 10 minutes, 5 minutes. So you have your order already. For example, the drive through that is another innovation in terms of ordering food no so that is an innovation because that translate no so by definition that is a novel way of ordering food and getting food all right so that's the very simple uh, illustration for innovation so this is just one simple definition but there's more or depth to the definition or meaning of innovation the one is that turning an idea into solutions that adds value from a customer's perspective now, so of course, when people are very busy, so they tend to like, if you go to a fine dining restaurant, of course, you have to wait for 30 to an hour, no? sometimes an hour to get your food. But when you need to eat as, as fast as you can, so you'd rather go to the fast food chain, right? And get, get any food that you can get there. So meaning to say the fast food service, the innovation there is that they basically introduced this concept, no? And then uh, for us who are on the go all the time or busy people, so we appreciate that. That means that the service, the fast food, provided a value no, to those people, to, to the people who are always on the go. No? So it creates value, okay? So if you are introducing an, a, a product, a new product process or... Um, a technology, um, you have to think all the time, it, it, is this technology that you are trying to produce will add value to the people you thought would be using it, okay? So that's what you need to like think over. Now, so Especially sa mga thesis, guys, no, because I know that you will be working on the thesis in the future year. Uh, every student in the engineering field are required to submit proposed thesis. Now, 
you will look beyond what is required to, for you to develop. Now, that means that uh, you need to press to develop a product, but then you also look into what's the potential impact. Ani, na ba niya si potential value to the people um, who will be using it. Now, so for example, the community, no, the community, sa Butuan City. Kung ano mohang technology or product you're trying to develop, no, to through your thesis is the users are identified in Butuan City. Would this be providing adding value to you? Because gone are the days before that people would try to develop new products or services, but in the end, will I take yours? Will I use yours? Will I impact? No, so that's what we uh, always say to students that if, um, if possible for you guys to develop a product, a service, or output of your research, think about what would be the potential impact to the community or users that you thought or you think might be using this. Right, that's one adding value. So we move from the definition, which is new product, new process. So now we need to have a value towards our customers. Present a value to our customers. Next, um, yeah, the second is or the final definition that I've included here is that uh, innovation is the act or process of commercializing an invention. An innovation, introducing something new or improved that creates value in the form of a commercial product. So many of the those guys who are here discussing about innovation, so a lot of the scholars talk about this, and they would align themselves in terms of the innovation on this final definition I provided you here. The process of commercializing, the process of marketing it, making money or making something out of it. It's not just making value no, to the customer, but um, actually allow, you would allow the customer to buy from you, no? something like that. So meaning so there is a business here, there is a commercialization, there is a exchange of money, no? exchange of goods. No? So in terms of the commercialization, so innovation, so a lot of the scholars consider this that the true definition of innovation is there's a component of, of business. No? So there's a component of entrepreneurship or commercializing the innovation. Um, because there are a lot of invention these days that remains to be invention because um, they were not able to capture the hearts of the hearts of the buyers or the customers. They did not. They did not present actually value to them. That's why people doesn't buy these products out there because, from the customer's perspective, this doesn't give me value. But if this product or services gives me value, then I'll buy it. No. So basic example today, we have the smartphones. No. So smartphones. I think we are all familiar with, uh, uh iPhone or Samsung. Mga S20, so, so mga cell phones and your parents probably or you guys. So these are truly innovations because even if how much expensive, how expensive these products are, people tend to always buy them. No? So because the perception is that when I buy this phone, this gives me added value to my job, to my work. No? So that's why people buy it. Okay. So there's a perspective. Per, uh, perception that it adds value and indeed this is verified no, as as adding value so we transition no? uh kids are may naka, nakagamit pa ba mo og Nokia and mga Nokia nga cellphone N95 na tawo na ba mo ana <laughs> 20 years ago nakaabot pa ba mo ana kana cellphone sa Nokia nga mga Nokia N90 so mga N72 3310 so si Yani, thank you Yani. So oh si Fiv, no so um nakaabot pa mo but then siguro at that time uh, murag na face out na. Na face out na ba? Sa inyo hang <laughs> to Zemel yes yeah, sir. Na face out na ba? Na face out na ning time no sa inyo hang pagdako ninyo ba. <laughs> Kay murag smartphone na kasagaran no like we have the smartphone introduced by Apple in 2007 and then during that time, there was this transition no, from the popular mobile phone Nokia, then 
you transition to the smartphone. And then people tend very uh, apprehensive to invest money on it because it's a bit expensive when it was introduced compared to the existing Nokia phones. And then you people are wondering what will this Nokia or what will this smart Apple smartphone gives value to me. Now and then, of course, Steve Jobs as a brilliant uh, Steve Jobs being a brilliant entrepreneur. Now, so we introduced like the concept of the all-in-one. For example, in the smartphone, you have the camera already, diba? Right? You have a camera which does not exist in the Nokia N95 before. And then there will be several um, other features like the okay, kaning mga mobile apps now which are not or were not introduced in Nokia phones. So meaning um, Steve Jobs innovated the mobile phone market. No? So, so he entirely changed, no? so disrupted the cell phone business. No? So, so that means the transition from the QWERTY Ito mga QWERTY nga type of phones to what we have now, the smartphones. So, so Apple started it all. And then the big companies like Samsung, like the Huawei. So they followed suit. These are the companies, the big companies that followed suit. So people appreciated that because when you go out right today, no? so I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm, I, I used to like carry... Uh, big bugs because I, I need to bring my DSLR camera when traveling abroad. No, for example, so nindot man ang quality good sa SLR. No, when taking photos and because you want to like um, ano, preserve memories no when your travels. But during during this time lately, murag kapoy na dalon ang SLR. No, although still the quality is still better na compared to the cell phone. But you have the cell phone now that has a camera. Um, very clear, no? Because like 1080p, the resolutions are like that. So there are also 4K cameras, no? So we need to say you don't have to like bring your other gadgets because you have also your cell phone that is capable also for taking videos and photos, no? Which were not existing before. And also you don't need to bring your watch because there's also a clock. So what else? So there's so many tools that are integrated in the smartphone that we're no longer we're, we're no not introduced in the previous like cell phones no like the Nokia ones okay so basically because people see the value to it so people bought no, especially Americans they're very loyal to the Apple products magikan sa cell phone to Apple Watch to even the the Mac no so they're all really, you know, they're all um, um, loyal to the app, Apple. So meaning to say that's who, um, it made uh, Bill Gates very rich you know, in the company Apple. So of course, there's a different story about uh, Bill Gates and Apple company, but really this made the company, they make make the company the most innovative company as well in the world. You know? So that made Apple as a number one innovative company. Because they did not just introduce a product, they introduced a product that people love having. Now, so that's the difference there. So when you invent something, I'm ah, invent ko. And then people doesn't like it. So dili siya innovation. Now, so dili siya innovation because nobody is gen- is adapting it. Now, so that's the problem when um, we invent and then we did not understand the customers or the people who might be using it and they don't find it valuable. So, dili siya innovation. So, dili nila gamiton. No? So, it, it's just simply an invention. No? So, it's just simply an invention. No? So, it's not an innovation. Okay? Clear ba? Nasabtan ba ninyo? Nasabtan ba ninyo? <laughs> All right. Okay, so si Jessara ang, okay, Yanni is here also, still alive. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, sir. Okay, nakapalo. So, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you for confirming. Kaya basi, uh, ako register yan. <laughs> uh, sige, kung pati lang maglungag na lutong sudan, basta pusgit-pusgit lang ang volume sa inyong cellphone or laptop. <laughs> no, so, okay. All right. So I hope that's clear. No, that's clear. The differences between what is commonly called as invention 
and what we have as innovation. Now, so every time you do think about innovation, so is this making your customers appreciate the value of it? So na ba ni value atong kinahimo? So and then also, uh, are we commercializing it? Are we ma making money out of it? Now, so that's basically the general term or definition being discussed by the scholars. Now, so not only in the Philippines, but basically most of these things came out from from I don't know from um, the US. Now, so they started it all. Now, so everybody follows suit. Now, so when you talk about Silicon Valley, that's where the tech guys. They, those those are where the technopreneurs. No, so a lot of technopreneurs are coming from. Okay, so I think we'll just cover them uh, in a while. So, guys, so during our discussions in intellectual property, also later. So basically, human beings, kita, no, we are really um, creative. No, so we're born um, creative. So you might not um, kind of explore that, but most or some of you are um, does a lot of work, does does a lot of tinkering, does a lot of uh, making things work. No, so and then uh, there there is there are people or students here maybe that okay, always think about bright ideas in terms of how can I um, present a solution to this problem. So uh, face mask, ma you can make it better. No? So, so there's an uh, not good no, if we use it, if we tap on it, no, our creativity is just hanging there, it's just waiting for us. No? So, meaning to say, we just have to tap to it and then make it work. No, pero kung pasag na po nato na siya, dili nato na siya nurture, na, it will not also grow. No? So, creativity, as being mentioned here, is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. So ideas remain just simply an ideas and will not be ever become an invention if they kept it in our minds. No? So, so if we happen to like, okay, I have a good, very good idea, and then you start working on it. How can how can you make it a uh, reality? How can you make it like tangible? No, can ma hiccup or ma makit an? No, so that's where the part that we go proceed to the next, which is the invention. No? Because from the idea, you create the product, then that product is now what we call as invention, okay? So when you have this invention, during the process of thinking about the idea, you also start thinking about, it's how many user, you know? who are the potential users of my product, okay? Who are the potential users of this device that I'm going to develop or these services that I'm going to offer? Who will be using this? So will I be offering... Um, will I be offering uh, added value? Will this make people lives better? Will this improve the process? Will this improve the how we do things? All right. So those are the things also that we need to like include no? so in our brainstorming when we are try, trying to develop a creative idea. When we implement that, so that we have an invention. And then if we're able to commercialize it, sell it to the market or products you know, and services that we offer, then that's the part that we can say that what we thought we move from an idea to innovation. You know? So so idea, invention to innovation. Okay. So I hope you this is clear, no? So the differences from invention to innovation. Okay. Okay. Just um, thumbs up lang, no? If namo'y pangutana, feel free to thumbs up kung pangutana. Okay lang tamang bisaya siguro, no? But I'll try to speak in English because our medium instruction is in English. I'll try my best to speak in English. Bahala na di magkadimao. Alright, so guys, um, I think you're familiar with the innovation in transportation that's called um, Uber. Uber, no? I think Uber can ride healing mobile app. Okay? So, Sorry. yes? Yes? Questions? Comments? Okay, so, yes. 
So you're familiar now. So so Pilipinas today the most popular wine is grab. No grab. So, okay. Um naman tay grab no. So ang Uber actually started it all. Kaning sila gi nag-innovate, sila gi nag-disrupt. So na yung mga disruptor no, kaning mga startup ni sila. Startup ni sila no, startup. So a group of guys thought about how can we improve the process of getting taxis or services no uh, kanang ride ride services no? so if you look into the history of uber actually they started out in terms of um, providing uh, services to high class high class no mga top of the line so actually sa una limousine the the services that they offer is limousine so when you order an uber ride so you expect to receive an Uber ride, no? So uh, I mean limousine ride. So Uber, so and so na high end. So they thought about how can you make this even better, you not know, such that we can tap the mass market. So that that's in the US before. So when they develop this, they thinking they're always on the clock, not thinking. Even today, they're always thinking about how to further improve the services. No, so they thought about this. So what are the value? that they are offering to the customer. So sometimes we call this as value proposition, but we will have a lot of discussions about that. So when they tried to develop this product or technology, they were thinking about the value you know, that they've been going to offer to the customers. So number one is it should be easy for us to get a ride. You know? So we are familiar now that Grab or Uber are used for taxi. You know? So it, when they develop this software, they're think about, thinking about um, how people can get a taxi ride very easily. No? So one tap lang in the bottom and then a car comes directly to you. Right? So meaning to say, you just have to put in, gusto ko mo add ko sa Ampayon, no? Sa Ampayon, you can do sa Butuan. So I'll just have to put the address, Caraga State University, and then from home, and then I'll just tap it, and then the Uber ride or the Grab ride comes to my house and then fetch me and then bring me to Ampayon. So so it made it really easier. No? Unlike before, so you have to go out and wait for a taxi out there. Magulat pa ka minutos, isa ka oras. Usa ka makakuha o taxi. No? Especially if you live in Metro Manila, guys, so difficult to get taxis, no? so normal taxis. Especially during peak hours. Peak hours is like six o'clock to nine o'clock, and then um, and hapon napod three o'clock to seven o'clock. So peak hours very difficult to get the taxi. Sometimes I experience an hour waiting for an hour. You can if you decide in a condominium and then to your own ones, yeah. So it's so difficult to get the taxi ride. So with Uber or Grab today, the innovation. So what we'll just tap? You just have to tap, and then you can just wait in the room. And then if the taxi comes over, then that's the only time you get out from the house or the the, the condominium, for example. No, so so it makes your life easier. That means that it gives value to us as the riding public. No, so yung nana siya. So anywhere, anytime. So bisag asa ka ang location, then you can actually you know, no. So commonly. And I'm not sure if you've experienced this, this but uh, before the pandemic, so if you happen to travel to Manila, wala pa grab, no? So that's around 2000, I think, mga 2000, no? 2000 and over that. So when you travel ganun yung medito, so maabot ka o ka ng Manila International Airport or sa Naiya, no? So maabot ka Naiya. Uh, your option is to, if you go to, to a particular place nga gusto ko magdali, so you get a taxi. But then when you go out from the terminal of the airport, you have to line up. No, you have to line up. So again, because there's so many passengers in the airport, you have to wait like for about 30 minutes to an hour. So sometimes more if the uh, the line is too long. And then say magulan pa, no, kanang init pa. No, so the guy can with my experience. No, so with with the innovation brought about this way, Uber or Grab. So they were able to like make your life easy, very easy. No, so even before pag naugin mo sa airport, sa air, aeroplano, you can order immediately a ride. No, so tap, and then paggawas ni mo sa terminal, um, perhaps most probably the car is already waiting there. No, so it made 
our lives easier. No? So I hope you get that, guys. So if you were able, to, if you're able to do an innovation like that, a new product, process, service, so it would make the lives of the people easy. That means that they're gonna buy it. No? If you sell the, the service to them, they're gonna buy it. No, because it's very easy. You don't have to go to like fall in line and all that with the rain and um, the sun, the heat. No? So, yeah, so I, I really have to clarify this though because this is the concept, the basic, the foundation concepts of innovation. So another one is the low cost to luxury. So they offer this. So to tsao na, kung sakay pa ganyan mong taxi no, sa, sa airport, when you ride a taxi and you go to Metro Manila or to Quezon City, no, so because Naiya terminals are in located in Pasay. And then if you want to go to UP Diliman because you're, um, you are studying there, for example. So you have to go. That's a very long ride. That's very far. No? So imagine that. Pasay to ano, Pilaka kilometers. And then when you ride the taxi before, Sir, layu ang mga Nandiyo malayo man tong ano, Tagalog na naman. Malayo mo yung, malayo yung, ano, Quezon City. <laughs> So, dagdag sir ng 500 pesos. So, kakasakay mo pa lang may 500 pesos na kaagad na dagdag bayad, no? So, if you have a very limited budget, that means that basically butas ang bulsa kaagad. No? So, malayo man. So, so they will parang negotiate with you, no? So, and then you you will sometimes you give in, no? Or sometimes 200 na lang, you'll also negotiate. Sige, magdadagdag ako ng 200. Sobrang malaki naman yung 500. Uh, so things will uh, go on like that no, in terms of negotiation. But when the, this kind of innovation, so when they introduce this, when you order, so right there and then, immediately you'll know how much you're gonna pay no, from Naia Airport to Quezon City, for example, to UP Diliman. So you'll know in advance how much. No? So you don't have to juggle or to like negotiate no na, na or the drivers will not abuse you. No, na they will be asking 500 pesos more. No? So medyo malaki yun, di ba? So you they they so with the advent of these technologies, so it makes for us no as the consuming public medyo yung cost is relatively cheaper than what we are used to before. So basically, this is a very good example of how technology, technology actually helps us, the commuting public improve our commute. No? So today, imagine, no? so if, so siguro karon tumot kay pandemic, dili kay dagan magtrabaho, but before the pandemic, so um, how many millions are there? Um, siguro 5 million workers are there in the, in in I don't know in Metro Manila working, and that's why it's always like uh, kana LRT MRT perting puno ang kay Ferme, no? Puno gid kayo kung hindi ka kasakay, no? So maglisod ka sakay, no? So gusto ka magdale fresh mong kwan so gusto ka maguber, no? So but with a cost, no? Of course. So ingon ana siya, no? So that improves our way of life kung baga with the introduction of innovation. So I hope. Uh, this clear things up. So this is a very good example now in, in terms of uh, how innovation works. Today, even Uber, it's not just focus about um, the rides, no. But they're also working on like in the US, Uber food, no, mag deliver. So tanan nga innovation sa Uber karon gina adapt sa Grab, okay? Ang Uber magod wala magod sila patent dere dere sa Pilipinas or Asia. They have a patent in the US but not in Asia, okay? So ang Grab um, ang Uber left the Philippines, but they bought around 30% ownership share sa Grab. No? So that means um, Uber is a co-owner of Grab, Grab Asia. So um, I remember that when I was into, like going, uh, oftentimes in Manila, I, I always hear that um, there are around uh, 50,000 uh, Grab cars. No? So every day, so serving the the people so it's like sounds a lot but then um you know manila is is big now that's why they needed um, okay 
Are you familiar with these two guys? Okay, do you know these two guys? Okay, can you chat um, in the chat box so that I'll know you're still there? Who are these guys? Um, especially the right, uh, the photo on the right. Okay, do you know these guys? Kinsa ni sila? Uh, kaning, especially kaning nasa to. Kinsa ni siya? Bili na ako ang, ano, ako ang, akong, <laughs> akong cam. Kaning picture, kinsa ni siya? Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, Kina. Kina, tama ba Kina? How do I pronounce your name, Kina? Kina or Kiana? Kiana, sir. Kiana. Alright. Thank you, Kiana. Daris, all right. Yani, all right. Jessa, okay. Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs. Jessa, okay. Steve Jobs. How about the guy or the birded, another birded person in the left photo? Do you know him? Do you know him? Do you know this guy? So thank you for your answers, no? So Steve Jobs, that's correct. So Steve Jobs, that's correct. Do you know this guy in the left side? All right, Lloyd John, thank you. Steve Wozniak. Very good, guys. Yeah, that's right. Impressive. Okay. For the user, Steve Wozniak. All right. Okay. Uh, that's a good job, Jessa. No? So by Googling, so you, you found the face of Steve Wozniak. All right. So that's correct. Now, these are the two Steves who actually started it all in, in terms of establishing the um, Apple company. Now, so Steve Wozniak was the electronics engineer. Now, so he's the tinkering guy. So he, he's the one really made the first uh, Apple computer. Now, so he's, he's really, really the guy. On the right side, Steve Jobs is the business-minded person. He's the business. He's the really the this two guys are innovators, but in terms of making money, commercializing technology, he did all the work. No, so Steve was there. I'll say Steve, Steve Jobs. Steve was there, like when I create naimonoans, Steve Jobs, he will tell Steve was there to, to develop this kind of things. No, so so that's that's the way the relationship were before. No, so. Steve Wozniak really is the computer guy. And then that made, like, when they started it all, so they're really a startup, no? Because uh, when, when you hear the story about the Apple computer, so they also working, like, uh, in the garage, tinkering. So then they were able to develop these cool gadgets, and then they were able to start marketing slow, uh, slowly and then selling this type of PCs. No? So they earn money. So that's where it started all. So they started small, no? So... Not all businesses actually started big. No? So for you guys, it's also the same. No? So if you have an idea, no, so I can't do Even pandemic, I have income. No? So um, I've heard that even um, college students no, in Manila, they, they're earning a lot because of like pushing ma pushing uh, products into Shopee, to Lazada. No? They're posting and they're earning millions. No? So... So they, they found a way how to like discarte, no? Discarte, ang itawag na to anak, discarte. Street smart. No, even if their products are not, like for example, not innovative, but people wants them. So through Lazada or Shopee, they were able to make money. No, so that's where the creativity part. No, so that's where Steve Jobs is actually very good. No, kana maayo kay sa nga magbaligya. No, maayo kay sa o kanang magbaligya og mga awagan eh kana mga devices so okay so they actually started no so these are the most notable innovators that we, ha we have so um of course i mentioned he is an engineer computer science graduate in uc berkeley so this is where the silicon valley is in the us so he's the co-founder of apple but I think uh, it's beyond the electronic side, beyond the engineering side. It was like Steve Jobs who really like thought about something uh, coming up with very cool products, very cool products that people love. And until today, 
Um, people are not disappointed when iPad launch was launched. So grabby good, no? So people will line up to wait for if you want to buy a Apple products in the US. Like there are crazy people who wants to go there first and buy the product of Apple first. So they have to wait like 24 hours before or two days before just to get the first version of the Apple product. So that's how crazy the followers are of Apple. And they're still the most innovative company in the world. There is still the, for example, um, one of the biggest, no, one of the biggest companies in, in the US because of the technology. So, so in terms of the market capitalization, so that's how the worth the company is, like they, they've reached already the 1 trillion mark. 1 trillion. So the company. Yeah. Because they're selling a lot of products, cool products, and people love them. Yeah, the other guys are, I think you're familiar with this already, no? Familiar one. These guys are from what company? Okay. So chat box, please. Do you know Asan is sila? Can you do up The do. Kabalum one, Asan is So we consider them as a notable innovator. Um, let me check on the 25 guys who are in this class. Who are these guys? What company uh, they launch? Si Jen, you know, si Jen suggests uh, Google Dani Sila. Is it true, Google? Si Matt, you know, si Matt, Google, okay. Google. Si Junior, um, with a question mark, my, mark uh, Microsoft. Okay, Junior. All right, other answers? Other answers from you guys? So I have seen one, two, three, four. Four responses only. Uh, ang man, busy pa og luto. Kuro -kuro. How about the 21? 21. Where are the others? 21. Saman ang 21. Google, okay. Si Laris, Google. Right. Okay. Anybody can... Okay, there are only six here? Asa na ba na? Luto na? Oh. Oh, nanuto na. Asa na uban? Google subs are yan eh, okay? Alright. Ah, dire, dire lang siguro kung mag-check yung attendance niya sa chat. Alright, Google, okay. Um, okay, Jubil, okay. Jubil, Google also, okay. Narami sir, wala lang mi kaila. <laughs> okay, or <ligto. laughs> Ha 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 ha. Google sir, si John Lloyd. O Lloyd John. Okay. Artista mo ni si Lloyd John. John Lloyd. Maria. Larry Page. And Sander Pichai. Oi, let's see. Okay, of, of Google. Okay. Maria. Maria ba? Or Maria Kaila. You can open your mic, Maria Kaila. Larry Page and Sander Pichai. Maria, would you like to open your mic? Just have some questions. Which one is, I know, Maria, which one is um, Larry Page, okay, and Sergey Brin. Okay, so which one is correct? Right okay. Uh, okay. Thank you guys for interacting not through chat, even if through huh? Yes. Si Larry ang ano sir, gray hair, gray hair. Tapos si Sandar ng ano black hair. Okay. Uh, I think you're very familiar with Google now because you you know the current CEO of um the Alphabet. Now so actually Google is now a uh, Alphabet now. Thank you, Maria. So basically, so he looks like really Pichai, no, the CEO, the the left guy because of the bird. No, so, um, but uh, sorry to say, Maria, no, these two guys are actually, you use, you're correct with uh, saying Larry Page. Uh, but I'm sorry to tell you that, uh, although I, I welcome it, no, so the, the other guy is actually Sergey Brin. No, so these are the two guys who fo 
co-founded Google. No? So they're really considered as the one of the top innovators and tech entrepreneurs in the world. No? So um, yeah, so the CEO right now, because lagi sila tag Yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much, Maria. No? So um, you reminded me of the CEO of Google who's running the things, who's running the, the company for these two guys. No? So um and uh Pichai is also now a kind of co-owner because he earns a lot of shares no, or company stocks sa Google. No? So he's the brain also of the company today. No, pareha, sa, pareha sa Apple karon, wala naman si Steve Jobs. So ang CEO nila si Tim Cook, no, prepare na sila ni Pichai. Pichai ba? No, si Koan. Uh, ang katong Indian, no? So, very, dagan mo good kayo, but dagan kayo smart nga Indian, no? So, Pichai. Right? So, these two guys actually developed the Google um, product through um, their thesis. No? So, I think you're familiar with the story, but uh, thesis nila, sa PhD nila, sa Stanford University, ang paghimog algorithm, no? So, paghimog algorithm to kana mag-search. Okay. Thank you guys for interacting. All right, kani ah uh, guapo, para para mo mignawan eh, de. Para para mo mignawan. Kinsa man siya? Oh, okay, si Mat Abtik ini si Mat Bauzian ni, na pa jubil law. Sila gini ah uh, sunod nga meeting magkuan ko, magkahot ko eh, para na i-price nga yatag. Laris Jessa, okay. Paganda mo ha, yung magkahot game ta, unang namoy namoy cellphone, yung namoy laptop magkahot ta. Ngatag ko price kada simana siguro ano para bibo. Alright, si Elon Musk. Oh, so, Elon Musk, no, sa so atong, ako ang ginang fan, I'm a big fan of Elon Musk. So, pag iya sa, okay, thank you for interacting. Tesla. Okay, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla Motors. Very good, guys. Ellington, Laris, Tesla. Okay, si Marlo, yung sa Elon Musk, si Phoebe Lane, uh, Elon Musk, Jubil, no? So, si Elon Musk. Og sa SpaceX. Okay. Good job, guys. Followers, good. Uh, followers, good mo sa ilang, kwa, no? Si Elon, okay. Elon the Melon. So, Laris said SpaceX. Yes, definitely. He's uh, the co-founder of SpaceX and of course he's very popular today because of the Tesla company and the SpaceX. They're launching a lot of um, spacecraft in the US. So I, I, I was really happy, I think in 2017 when we were in the US, I was really happy when we were in Florida. I, me and three of my kids so. Our family you now was able to go to the Florida and we witnessed one like launch of the Tesla. So I was really happy. And that, after that, I became really a big fan and a follower of Elon Musk. You know? So I'm following the story about that Tesla. Of course, he's an innovator because <coughs> you might not know this, but his money that he poured into the SpaceX and Tesla were actually is used that. Uh, when he sold this company as PayPal. No? So he earned a lot of money there. And then the money he got when he sold PayPal, you know, because some of the disagreements as a startup, so he sold that, he earned a lot of money. And then so he bought or he founded the SpaceX. So Gusto Guinea, he's, he's really passionate about um, going into space. And then to cut the long story short, now um, Tesla is one of the most uh, the, the contractors of NASA, of course, no NASA. So the latest round of um, bringing uh, people to the ISS. I think if you're into the technology, besides engineering, gani, very familiar kita mga what is happening into technology, no. So dili lang TikTok, no. So <laughs> dili lang TikTok, but. We also follow stories about technology, what is happening in the world. If, even if I'm, if you get tired of the politics in the Philippines, so it's going to be a lot of technology no? because this is where we are in the engineering. So, of course, uh, Elon Musk and his company was able to build rockets, uh, got very cost-effective rockets, and they've been launching to space, bringing satellites, and then, of course, no? so the NASA paid 
uh, SpaceX. No? So a lot of money, billions of US dollars. So but in return, because of that, uh, these startups here, they were able to become uh, big, uh, earn big money. So through their innovations, okay? So they were able to make that happen. So he's a very good, you know, uh, entrepreneur. So if you look into the different rockets, so si, si, si Elon Musk, kaning Falcon Heavy, Iana, Falcon 9, Iana. So these are other uban ani mga competition ano like Blue Origin. Uh, Jeff Bezos, who is the founder of Amazon, is also working on the Blue Origin. And then somebody, another billionaire in in London, no? So kanang sa Virgin Atlantic. Uh, I forgot his name. Um, he's also into the space. Now he just launched that, like, kung gusto kang space travel, and then yeah, you can, ano, sa <laughs> uh, yung company ka ng Galactic, Atlantic Galactic. Okay, so this is a very cool car. So very notable innovation. So just an example. Why is very innovative? Because the the Tesla company, for for your information, no. So if you follow the story of Tesla, so really they innovated the way that cool cars are being introduced to the market. No, for example, this is a a very a luxurious sedan that they consider it a luxurious sedan, and then it's very fast because um, it runs from zero to one hundred kilometers in just five less than five seconds so in just less than five minutes five seconds you go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in speed so that's how fast this uh tesla car runs no and then very cool no very cool um gadgets inside the car also no so they have this dash panel na murag dako kay nga ipad and then so they went out no and they designed it they went out the then uh, outside of the box, no? so the traditional cars. So that's what happened. So this is just battery operated. No? So I, let me check. All right. So there is, that's right. No? So the most important feature there, that's correct. JSL and there is, you mentioned about the autopilot features and the self driving. So they're both the same. No? So uh, the self driving autopilot features, the most important innovations that they introduce in the car. Uh, beyond this, they've introduced, of course, you have you know that uh, the they they this car runs in battery, and then there's no engine. No? so the front car, kaning front car, no, o kaning back na side, open as a pwede na sa butangan o luggage. No, so and then kaning magud nga sakyanan, no, battery powered, so walay koan, wala siya, wala siya gasolina. No, so that makes it environment friendly. No, and then, of course, okay, charge, charge lang. No? So, yeah, so they have also a company that's called yeah, ka ng, uh, Sun Power. Oh, no, uh, ka ng solar installation sila. And then you can charge the, the pat, your cars there, no, kung na kay solar. So, sila gabaligya po sila solar, no. So, ang, ang, ang nakadako ani ron, because they started in the US, and now they have, of course, I think two years ago, they've already, no, early last year, they've opened their Shanghai factory also. So they're also already in China. But in the US, they have plants in, of course, in uh, Nevada, I think, and then in, in California, no? California, and then in New York or in the state of New York. Um, and now they're building one in Germany. So because of this innovation, no, uh, then, there's this government ruling in London, UK. If, uh, if you follow the news stories that they want the new cars entering into the country, nga dapat dili na sila gasoline or diesel power cars. So all electric. Because they want na uh, all the cars entering into the market will be environment friendly. I think this is the same decisions that Singapore in 2025, they want cars, new cars running on the road that are battery operated or if not hybrid. Okay. So so that means that's a big market for Tesla. Okay. Of course in the Philippines, we're talking about these popular technopreneurs in the US. 
Um, I did not even mention Jack Ma there, no, right in in the uh, conversation, in the mix of the conversation they have. But um, I think it's just really good to pay um, tribute to Dado Banatao, no, just Dado Banatao. And I'll be giving an assignment, but not today. But Dado Banatao really. So there's one to comment there. All right. Elon Musk. Okay, Janiel. I'll just read this before kay Dado. No? Elon Musk also says sponsor teen inventors like sa skeleton at robotic prosthetics. Yes, yes. So uh, there are a lot of engagement si Elon Musk. That's correct, Janiel. No? So um, Elon Musk is very active in terms of promoting um, innovations, inventions through kanyang mga sponsorship. No? So uh, actually he wants a lot more from from the engineers from the students you know, to become engineers and to help fix the world today because he believes na nako pa kayo problema no ang kalibutan at waiting for for us to solve so today elena is really engaged na in a lot and, and then the the thing is that even if kung namo ka sa twitter no so elon is very active in twitter if you tweet him hey alan can you bring the for example he, he will respond to that you know, so things like that all right, thank you, Janet. So here we have just Dado Banatao. So um, if you look at the life story of Dado Banatao, he, he comes from a very poor family. His father is a farmer, a teacher. Um, um, so they're, they're very poor, but his father always tell him that you have to really do good in your uh, studies so that Eventually, you'll get a better job. And then he did not even, down the line, his father didn't expect that Dado Banato will be an technopreneur, no? entrepreneur. So when Dado graduated from the Mapua Institute of Technology as an elect uh, Stanford University also, and then that's where um, Dado Banato got his MS. But during that time, his thesis once again, was into this, no? so technology base, into the board, the chip board, that even today, Dado said, we are still using his board. No? So, so Dado invented that. And he, during that time, um, he founded the Mostron Chips and Technologies and S3. So these companies were really started out um, selling those boards. He got, he got actually Intel is the Intel Corporation, no? kanang Intel inside. Is the customer of Dado Banatao before you know, in his company. And uh, they sold this company and Dado earned a lot of money. And then he co-founded a lot of other companies now. And this, he is a very active investor. He's investing into good, um, for example, good companies. No? And then startups also, he's inventing into, uh, investing into startups. Um, the good thing about Dado is that he went back to the Philippines and then he kept on pushing that we need to really strengthen our engineering and then make our engineering become technopreneurs also just like him. So basically, si Dado Banatao was the person who um, actually started it all you know, when uh, we're looking into how to for us to become technopreneurs. So that is the reason why there is a technopreneurship 101 subject today. That's why you're involved in this subject. He wanted everybody to study, of course, develop technologies that will have value, that will be very innovative. And he pushed the Commission on Higher Education, the CHED, you know, to really, really introduce this Technopreneurship 101 subject so that the engineering students will not only be like aware or um, knowledgeable in terms of the hardcore physics, mathematics, um, and the mechanics, those things, not only limited to that, but also how to become a potential technopreneur in the future. Now, to just plant a seed, an idea to your minds that um, pwede mo maging businessman in the future. All right? So that's how we, he did it. Now, so he wants to know. So we, Dado Banato established the Philippine Development Foundation or Fieldy Foundation. And that is foundation in the Philippines. And we've been working with FieldDev to really promote entrepreneurship in the universities. And a lot of our friends from FieldDev before the pandemic came here to provide seminars, workshops to faculty. Uh, most of the time, faculty members, because 
uh, those faculty members, including me, are the ones who will spread the word no, around. So the good thing about these different programs right now, no, so money na kaya And then because of the technology business incubator, so that's where we had a chance also, me and Roland Dagil will were actually enrolled in the Asian Institute of Management and then we were enrolled or we will we were st we started there before the pandemic in 2019 and then we actually sent to the Royal Academy of Engineering in London to study entrepreneurship no to study better no so not only feel that but a lot of people in the Philippines are supporting this kind of university initi initiative so that a lot of students will engage more in the future into technopreneurship. So, so remember the story of Mark Zuckerberg, diba? Even Mark Zuckerberg, he did not even, well, even finish his degree because he was already working on his startup company. So that though is really the father of techno. I, I consider him, him as the father of technopreneurship because uh, in the Philippines, he really he was really serious about this, no? as far back as 2014. And Ako and Rolin were only immersed with technopreneurship around 2017. We had this idea when we go different places. No? So that's why we tried to establish. So our our role now is to facilitate, no? to share with you guys um, that there is a possibility for you to become um, future innovators and inventors, uh, most especially innovator, no? so that uh, you'll become uh, businessman just like that though. No? So I think for us, uh, because we're already 40s, we are past being our 40s, so medyo murag na namin sa tunga-tunga no, sa mong career. So it's it kind of challenging also to shift. No? But Rolin and I and the rest of the guys in the engineering, so we're also starting out our startup. No? So kanang MapX. But I'll share more on that later. But the thing is that the message here that we're trying, what we're trying to do is that we have all the potential, especially you guys that very, very young will have the potential. And perhaps during the course of this technopreneurship on our subject, we will be able to interview one couple who are graduates of electronics engineering. And in, they are both engineers, no? And then they started they, they started working in a company, but in quite a few years' time, they were able to like start their own business and they're very big right now. Uh, so these are some of the examples that hopefully would encourage you, motivate you to look into this. No? So basen the eye, basen the eye. No? So hopefully you'll be motivated no, in terms of starting your own business. And I was just thinking of tapping speakers from outside CSU to give us a lecture about different topics, and then hopefully you will be inspired no, to to engage in entrepreneurship. And I'll try to arrange. Um, speakers, no? so like for example, uh, one hour in a talk, and then they give you things like this, no? so to give an inspiration for you guys to kind of consider this in the future. Okay, the problem right now is that because of the pandemic, there are limited um, work options, for example, and it's difficult to find job, no, find a job. A lot of job are being also like there are a lot of loss, no? job loss right now, no? okay, because of the pandemic. And then while waiting, siguro the thing is that ang atong ano na on, dili lang employment, no? Basta hindi ayaw ka mo, ah, mag, so like kong negosyo, no? So, you know, there are businesses that started out as 5,000 pesos, 10,000 pesos. So, nangutang, kay gi business, no? gi negosyo, gi, <coughs> gi sulayag negosyo, no, things like that. Uh, Basta hindi ay, you borrow from your parents, you borrow from your brother, you borrow from your relatives. I'm starting out a business. I want. I'm very passionate about this. So, bus in the eye, no, that will be, you know, rather than waiting, uh, my employee ta. So if there will be no opportunity for us for our employment, bus in the eye. So like, oh, negosyo, no, negosyo siwarma. You know the story about this one guy in the Philippines. Nga, they, he's into siwarma. Now he's, he has several hundreds of kanang um, stores, no. So yun yeah, Okay. I hope you're still there. Um, okay, I hope ma play na to na Play ba na ako, eh? Ah, no. Okay, now I want you to listen, guys, to this. I hope, uh, okay. Well, stop share. Okay, stop share sa ko. Okay, ako na yung share ng isa ka video about um, Dado Banata, no? Because um, I do think that we 
really like uh, I I like the story he had. No? So wait, na, I'll try to play it. So we have a combination of video and so. Okay, wait lang ha. I'll share the sound. Okay, basi di mo kadong. Okay. Okay, where is it? Okay. Share sound. All right. So I hope you can hear the sound. No? So this is the story of uh, four minutes. Electricity, no telephones. I was taught math by moving bamboo sticks. There were no luxuries. Almost all of my classmates stopped going to school after sixth grade to help in the fields. But my father never asked me to help him. He wanted a better life for me. He made it clear his job was to keep food on the table. My job was to study. I went to high school far from my home. I felt inferior to the other students. They were from the city. I was the son of a farmer. When my friends played basketball, I studied. I fell in love with engineering. I wanted to build things. But when I graduated from Mapua, there were no design jobs for engineers in the Philippines. So, I moved to America. I applied for a master's in engineering at Stanford University. I was excited, but I was also so intimidated. Everyone seemed smarter than I was. So I studied twice as hard. I saw an opportunity to design better computer chips, and I started a company. That company failed. No one told me that I could do it. I had to tell myself that I could. And so I tried it again. This time, we succeeded. My success is a direct result of my beginnings. It is the same will and determination that every Filipino possesses. Our country is one of the fastest growing economies in Asia. But over 30% of our people still live like I did growing up. But my life shows a different path is possible. It is why I started Fildev. We imagine the Philippines where every school has internet, where deserving students are given scholarships so they never have to stop learning, where thousands of young Filipinos start companies that hire millions more. We know hardship. It's time we learn success. I am not so special, but I am determined. My story could be your story. As Filipinos, it must be our story. So 
that's a short um, video no? that uh, Dado Banatao himself um, yeah, tried to like tell his story, you know, his roots, his roots. Okay. All right. So I, I hope you got an inspiration from that. No? So I think many of us can relate to his story. You know, he came from a very poor family, worked hard, uh, studied hard, and then there was an opportunity. So he saw an opportunity to become an entrepreneur. And although it was not easy at the start, no, because startup is very difficult, but of course, resiliency no, so will power and then mindset. Uh, I think those are the things that enabled him you know, to kind of succeed, succeed not to from where he is now. So basically, that's the story of um, Dado Banatao. No? So I hope you got inspiration from him. No? So um, may, many of us, like for me personally, I got inspired by his, his work. No? So, okay, moving on. Uh, I guess uh, additional ano na, no? uh, illustrations. Um, when we talk about innovation, because basically the first few classes that we have meetings few meetings ako is really to emphasize no the value of innovation um what is really innovation why no so very important for me now that we we set a tone and a mindset in terms of uh, what is innovation and that what is the value creation um and hopefully um before we move to the technicals now the technical meaning to say katong mga we, we need to like do things like the business model you know what is value proposition so we we need to deep dive so we need to set our minds nga maogini siya ang innovation maogini ang, ang entrepreneurship maogini siya ang business so now if you look at this image here so we have 10 minutes i think now so throughout the years no so inani ang sa tv and then what we have now um i think nakapas mo muna yung box type no so right now sa 2010s and uh Today, we have large TVs already that are made possible. And TVs in 1930s, 1970s, gagmay din sila, no? So, with the um, innovation, so today we have like 100-inch TV, 65-inch, 82-inch, no? so things like this, no? So, we're able to like, yeah, watch TV even better, relax, and no? be entertained. And then, or even throughout the years, the, the way of doing laundry has changed. Like the traditional one to the electronic now. No? So, um, like, <laughs> I remember my wife buying this washing machine. I think that we're still using it. Yeah, ibutang na nimo, and then automatic na siya na yung magbutal tubig, timbangon, timbangon sa niya ang lenabhan, pag timbang, mag timbang sa lenabhan, pag umanya compute. Then, saka pa siya mag-load ng tubig. Pag-load niya ng tubig, niya, saka pa maglaba. And then, automatic po, niya, i-feed niya. Nasa yung container sa likod, niya mag-feed ng sabon. Nasa siya mag-feed ka ng powdered soap. No? So, things have changed. No? So, meaning to say, these devices here, especially the electronic one. So, you just have to wait later after an hour, maybe, na pwede na rin mo siya. Kaya medyo uga-uga na siya. So, there was washing machines na a combination niya ay wash and dry no so yang i-heat ang ang imong linaban so that's how innovation of course the mobile phones we talk about this we have now the smartphones no of apple so okay some questions before we end this session today so why do we innovate so um why do people innovate why do big companies innovate so why, why, why? Bakit, bakit, bakit? Huh? Anong, bakit kaya? No? So, um, well, si Lolo Einstein once said that necessity is the mother of all invention. So when our backs are pushed against the wall, so people or the human beings tend to kind of think about inventing something and then innovating it. No? So for example, the case we have here in the pandemic. Of course, um, 
na natambo sa mga big pharmaceutical companies they, they innovated no okay let me see all right so jessel mentioned here one of the reasons why we would innovate uh, make our lives better and easier that's very good point jessel no that's very good that's really true no so make our lives easy better you know so for example now so speaking about that now if these drug companies are slow to inventing innovating so perhaps this covid vaccines that we have now uh, perhaps this was uh, been uh, if not for the urgency of it so maybe five years pa na yun, so before the covid vaccines guys because my wife is into the medical field <coughs> sorry she said that vaccines are developed three two three five years now that's how long <coughs> sorry that's that's how long it takes to develop a vaccine and because of the necessity today to develop vaccines to protect us so i think um yeah so this really made it happen uh, uh because of the vaccine that we implemented i think we save a lot of lives and i think the challenge now is for people to get vaccinated because here in the philippines we have a very limited supply but in the us they have plenty of supply but nobody's there uh is is like very serious about getting vaccinated because they don't believe in in vaccines but we i think filipinos most of us majority of us believe in vaccines so that's why we get sinovac uh, astra and all these pfizer janssen moderna and i think uh, the big pharma companies now even if there's cost associated with it so because they they spend a lot of r d money you know, to recover that cost they need to sell that in a price point that it will give also the companies uh, a good return no? now the the end of it is that the, the the value that we get is that of course if we are vaccinated at least man lang vaccinated ta, so we we have uh like somehow the confidence now that we will not get severe now i i think i tell you guys i will share this with you now so uh i i, I said earlier nga uh, among driver family driver and one of our has have has confirmed covid case and for the last several days it's safe to say that i don't have yet that's my you know um for the past several days karon pa man ko nag interact sa 10 days ago pa ko nag first interact sa driver na mo and then kaluyan sa Ginoo i didn't have the symptoms that i had before when i have covid so right now i was like trying to tell myself nga i think really covid vaccine work no because uh, right now today um kung do ka uban ni subalay sa katong mga katabang na padire amo nang quarantine uh, nga, i think katong mga na vaccinated na wala min na ko an wala min na takdan so yeah so if you have the chance guys to get vaccinated get one okay so that's what i'm telling you okay junian said here to upgrade or advance certain parts of livelihood to be efficient or see yes that's correct all right that's all that's basically true no so going back to the examples that i said no? so uh, hopefully i'll not get the symptoms now okay pila pa mga days na no? so mag quarantine mami 14 days so magapon na confirm na positive so 14 days in quarantine uh, house arrest so now uh, yeah we'll see we'll see uh, hopefully i will not get <laughs> the virus the, the 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 virus for second time around okay what time is it um okay um so just just some few minutes now so i think we still have some few minutes so why do we innovate so two minutes now so um Why do we innovate? Because there are so many issues around the world. So we just mentioned one of the major issues that we have, the COVID pandemic. And apart from that, even if we have a pandemic, we still have environmental issues, no pollution, uh, hunger. So these are some of the things that we, we need to do and address. No? So we need to solve these problems to improve our lives, no? so to make our lives better, so 
our guys mentioned here. No? So I think those are really true no? to make our lives better this year. Then somehow no, even to upgrade or advance. And then uh, just that very, I don't know, that there are so many people yet who are into poverty. So those are the things that we also need to work on. So the UN SDGs, the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So we divided the, also they divided, no, the UN divided the areas where we can focus our work on. If you want to develop um, a solution, look into these different areas that you want to solve. Uh, where are you passionate with in terms of contributing no, to helping solve the, the world's problem? Okay, that's always the question. So, so when you develop your thesis later on, you might want to like, okay, my thesis is related to poverty, for example. So you're trying to solve SDG 1. So you, you have to make it, you know, I don't know, na, I'm trying to solve SDG number 1. Okay? Okay. So siguro next week, I'll continue finish this, this uh, discussion with uh, for company, no? why companies need to innovate. And, you know. So I think it's already, I have to respect our time. It's already 12 o'clock and my alarm is on something now. All right. Um, questions or comments that you want to add more? Um, I'm happy to hear your feedback, no? your chat, your responses to the questions I have for today. And I hope in the future I know, um, classes, we, we, we still have, we can still have something like this, no? so to make the classes interactive, even if we are um, virtually having our classes. All right, questions? Pangotana. All right, Colonel, yes, you raise your hand. Yes, Colonel. Um, marag wala minadonggan. Kita ko lang. Yes, Colonel, you have question. Uh, next meeting will be on Monday, no? So, I doubt the mic. Okay, if you have a question, you can feel uh, feel free to drop them in the chat box. Um, naluto na ba yun yung nilong ag? <laughs> naluto na ba ang sudan? Yes, sir. Oh yes, Colonel. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, sir, my actually, sir, my question is just about concert. Um, <clears throat> about sa kanang sa COVID beta, sir. If okay lang, sir, mag question ka about answer since na discuss pud ni mo siya, sir. Then yes. I know, sir, na tiba tiba sir, ikaw, sir is vaccinated na mo, sir. Vaccinated na mo sa yung family. Ah uh, yes, my family yes. Oh, uh, yes. uh, sir, my, ang question lang po na ako, sir is since na, ang imong wife is na pusa sa medical concert. Ano ba sir? Um, if we are vaccinated, we we are we are still considered um carrier sir, di ba? And um, if we are vaccinated, um, yes, sir. so it depends, no? So um, uh, I, I hope I can answer this uh perfectly, no? Because um. Usually, Colonel, the medical practitioners should answer this, no? Pero, <laughs> so, basic okay. makot ko nimo wrongly, no? But my perspective is that yeah, if we are vaccinated, of course, when the, 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 the COVID virus will try to go into our body, but if we, we are vaccinated, the tendency is that I ward off niya ang, ang, ang virus, no? I ward off niya. So, when it wards off, so, dili ko mahimong career because I was not infected. Um, the thing is that there are there are people who get because of their low immunity. Uh, there are various reasons. Uh, they have like they have sickness. No, like for example, kana mga diabetic na sila yung mga heart problems. They are the pro no na yung comorbidities ng kitawag. So even if they are vaccinated because of their low ano parin kanang koan potentially magka COVID sila. Once magka COVID sila. So potentially magiging career gihapon sila. So but this kaning kaning situations nga ginatawag na to breakthrough. Kaning breakthrough no. Share na lang ako ni kay sige mo ko paminaw sa kasawa. Pero ang may authority ani Colonel is the medical practitioners no mga doctors. So uh, based on my wife's ano ang kaning breakthrough is kwan lang gid ni gamay ra kay siya percentage. If I can share the percentages around 0.0005, can I break through? Can I be done na vaccinate na, pero nagka-COVID? 
the mayor kaya na sa percentage. So, so we have that data in the uh, kaning sa food and drugs no sa FDA. No, so na sila data gi present niya ang FDA may na authority. Tanan record sa kaning mga mga sa sa kaning record sa DOH, gina submit na sa FDA uh, sa pa, no? sa sa DFA. Uh, food and drug FDA. Food and drug. So ang FDA mag-announce Gamay ra kaya nga percentage yun ang magka COVID balik no 0.005 no and then mostly of most of these people nga they get COVID because uh, of their low level of immunity no kanang uh, na sila sakit daan so mao nay nakit an so far nga commonly nga case pero yeah so uh, kanang breakthrough dili kung vaccinated na tao nya because the word of nato tong virus will not be carriers not to, to answer that uh, in short carrier lang ta kung confirmed ta positive no? so confirmed ta positive na ta covid yeah. sometimes so good na ay mga tao nga uh, they are asymptomatic no meaning to say they, they don't have symptoms no so they don't have symptoms but they have the virus no? so yeah Napakay question Colonel? Uh sir, uh, yes sir, uh, my next question sir is about invasion sir. Uh na lang kay sir na kan murag na batian bilaw na concern na if true ba sir da kan ang innovation um we humans innovate because uh, we need to satisfy our needs like that sir. Like uh, people innovate to satisfy their needs or other people's needs and wants. Yes, yes. So that Thank you, Colonel, no, so for bringing this up. No, so there, there will be a section of our class. Um, usually innovation, so there's this one chapter actually you know, dedicated for that. That the human tendency is to innovate, especially for us you know, who are into innovating, is that because we personally experience the pains, you know, the hardships in itself, and we want to solve our personal pains personal and no so yeah that's that's one of the reasons why people also tend to innovate because we were, we found out that uh, to make our lives easier kapag you mentioned ganiya no sa chat to make our lives easier i need to do something about this develop this thing so that our lives will improve no so yeah so that's a very good point no, in terms of um why people do innovate yeah that's very good colonel Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. You're welcome. All right. I guess that's it. So in terms of the COVID, I don't know. Um, yeah. So if you have the chance to be vaccinated, get vaccinated. So I think that's my message to you guys. I think you're, I don't know, no? um, you're not old enough, but you're already on the age now. We didn't want to vaccinate now. Get the vaccine. So basically, for for us now, like Sami says all the time, you can choose a, all all vaccines out there. Uh, the first line of defense is vaccines, so we might get even if we are vaccinated, we will get Kitai. For example, although it's very low uh, possibility that we will get uh, the virus when we are already vaccinated, pero uh, in terms of severity, that will prevent the severity of the I know. Severity. No? Severity sa kanang if you have COVID. No? So, they get severe. So, there are so many people right now in the hospitals, they were not yet vaccinated or first dose, but they are suffering, I don't know, because of the severity. So, I think at the end of the this day, um, yeah. Okay. One question. Uh, one question. Okay. Sir, what suggestion do you have for improving a person's quality para makahimog innovation kay daggan adod ata people na anay potential kaso wala lang na enhance. All right. So, yeah, so there is also one one area how we, there are different techniques now in terms of improving our creativity. Katuma, how do we do brainstorming, the brainstorming process? So, so this is one of the areas that I will not answer it right now. Yeah, immediately. I don't know. Jessa, Jessa, thank you for your question. This is a very good question. Also, 
So right now, I'll, I'll not answer this because we have one section for that in terms of how we might be able to like come up, no? so come up with uh, better ideas. So I think that's on the part of the design thinking process. Design thinking. So we'll be talking about design thinking. So usually, ang design thinking uh, on that's one week, no. But then, uh, sa to a duha tulok ay tulokas classes siguro. I don't know. Hopefully, we can cover the basics, no. Um, another plenty of ideas in mind. Kaso wala instrument and all. So that this is where okay, Colonel. So this is where the discarte sa mga engineers magawas, no. So plenty of ideas and then. Kani bilang mo magsigir ka gunaw na og mga ideas and then eventually you'll find solutions later how how to make these things happen. No? So basically you don't have all the resources. Sa tinuod lang every person they don't have all the resources. Pero what they can do is find ways how to get those resources they need. No, if money is the problem, how can you make discarte about money? Of course you pitch, no? So you negotiate to your parents ma. Na kuno na nga negosyo. Yeah, kanang mulam sa ko kanang kwarta ni Moron. Mao na ko negosyo yan, blah blah blah. You try to con to convince your parents, convince your uncle, mangulam ka kwarta kay katong dato ni mong uncle kay na ko na on nga negosyo or sa ona ko ni paghimo na. So ang mga engineer diri gid diri magita no ang kanig yan sa engineering bala. Sobra na ko sorry ah. Job ta na. Ang engineering good If you talk about engineering, guys, when you study in college, ang atong brain ginatrain ginaog kanang how to solve problems. Gikan sa math, physics, ginatrain ginat ng mind mga mga solve problems. But in real world, you don't use calculus to solve problems, right? You don't use a lot of physics in solving problems, right? But the mind, ang atong because our mind is trained now in terms of sa mga idiskartyan nyo para masolve bat niya. So that helps in a way, you no know, finding solutions, right? Not necessarily applying calculus, right? But the mindset, the mindset that the our our field, our studies, you no, know, is like training our minds is to find solutions whenever we are faced with challenges and problems. So, bitaw mo nag kana bitaw kung sa religion pa na sa religious pa ta kung na kay problema ng mga tanan sa mukulingon. In this case, karon, what would Jesus do? No, so niyana ka no. But then, sa to ay is kung komo ja, so may discarte na ko ani, no, so niyana sa. So, yeah, I think you you'll discover that for yourself. No, in in your journey, you're very young guys. So in the thought process, in the future, you can like somehow discover these things, no, to make yourself um ma improve atong kagulingan. All right. So um, over time na ko, sorry kayo. So this has been a very interesting day today. Thank you for all your answers, your comments, your confirmation by answering yes or no for your questions here. You have very good questions, bright ideas. And I hope to continue on with the discussion next meeting. All right, guys? So sorry kayo, 12 minutes more. Thank you and have a good day, everyone. God bless. Keep safe. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye-bye. You're welcome also. Bye bye. Looking forward to our discussion on Monday. Thank bye bye. You, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, see you on Monday. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, also, Meryl Jan. All right. You're welcome, John Carl. Balais. Oh, I have a relative na Balais, but single L. God bless everyone. Keep safe. No, so be vaccinated. <laughs> so can I allow? <laughs> okay. Bye bye everyone. So I'll just. Um...